I'm guessing they're privies. <laughs> if I had to guess. You hear nothing. Can I can I smell anything? <laughs> um, one of them does smell like a privy. Oh, uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah. The other ones don't. Probably washrooms. Uh, uh... You can check to see if the door's locked. He's going to go up to the top and look around. He's also, say, as he's walking upwards, he's also check. Well, he's he's walking past, but he's also being careful in case he accidentally hears someone that is actually inside one of these. Do you want to listen at each door? Well, no, he doesn't want to be there when they decide to open the door, basically. He wants to be like, oh, there's someone in there. I'm going to back off a little bit. Right, but you're not going to listen. As he's walking, yeah, he's he's not listening out the doors. No, not okay. yet. He might on the way back, but okay. Uh, he's you go up, up looking. Uh, yeah, nothing looking around. Yeah, all right. He's going to listen at the doors. Okay. It's only like thirty seconds, maybe less. Takes more than that to listen. All right, a minute then. Uh, you don't hear nothing behind any of the doors. Okay. Can I... Open the door? No, he's not going to open the door. He's going to... He's going to make a single... No, hang on, he's going to think about this. He's going to, like, a double tap on them. He's going to knock, like, you know, then complete silence. On all of them as he walks back up. So how long do you want to? You want to double tap on one and then immediately move to the next one and double tap, or do you want to double tap? Uh, and wait? No, I'll wait like thirty seconds and do it to the next one. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. All right. All right. He's gonna leave that area. Uh, he's gonna go down to there, and then he's gonna go there. He's gonna try to listen at that door. Okay. So that strikes me as like a mess room or something. All right. Um, you you listen at the door and you can clearly hear uh, uh, some the sounds of uh, conversation going on behind there. Um, Is there a keyhole I can look for you? No. Uh, the door does not appear to be lockable. At least with a with a standard lock. You, you know, it might be barred, you know, it might yeah, be yeah. barable from the inside, but... I was just looking for, like, a peephole or something. Give me <laughs> just a second to give you a bit more information. There's no, like, cracks in the walls anywhere, is there? Oh, no, it's pretty, not... it's pretty well made. Um, There's no, like, not, not that he could possibly poke out? No. Like, like a, a tiny gap in a wall, you know? No. Alright, um, I couldn't, sorry, what was it, the information I gained from listening there? Uh, I'm going to give you that in a second. I take it this is all, like, dry mud area yeah it's just soil um it, it's, it's pretty like hard packed a... it's pretty hard packed though would be yeah. funny he's leaving wolf footprints behind yeah they just had a wolf mysteriously come in that's gonna leave them all confused <laughs> all right um if you care you know or someone be like who brought in that wolf we told you you can't have that wolf in here so there's a lot of voices coming from inside there right now. Um, yeah. Exactly how many, but uh, uh, you can hear occasional clinks of uh, what you would guess is, um, you know, pottery, plates, mugs, that sort of thing. Mm hmm. All right. So that can either be a, a kitsch. No, because either one's got the smoke and the bellows or whatever, forge, whatever that is. Uh, I'm guessing that's. A, this one's a kitchen. This one's. Uh, yeah. I don't know, actually. 
Uh, so yeah, real fast, real fast. Uh, there is a chimney here. There is a chimney here. Can you see the uh, that? Yeah, that I see the things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a chimney here. Oh, there is a chimney there. And there's a Ew. chimney. There. That wood heat. That makes more gotta, sense. No. There's you got you got wood wood. Would he what? It's the only way they're gonna keep warm. Yeah, no, oh, he's thinking, he didn't realize that um, this one had two chimneys in, so he didn't conclude that this was a kitchen or a hearth or something. But now that he knows that there's chimneys, he can conclude that. So he's now going to walk across. Okay. Uh, the sun is beginning to go down now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you uh, move over to the other building and what? Uh, I go over there. Can, is, there's no doors, no nothing anywhere. So he looks downwards. There's a there's a door down here. Sorry, that's I guess it's not quite clear. If I go down there and listen in now. There you go. Oh, oh, yeah, listen in there. Wouldn't that get revealed? Whatever that is. Yeah, I'm. I'll reveal it right now. Okay, so you're going to listen in on at that door? Yep. Um, it is quiet. Oh, quiet. Hmm. All right, he listens over there. Over that, over here, over that, that. All right, yeah. you hear, <laughs> you, you can hear something from in there, but you can't make out what it is. There's some sound coming from in there. Uh, that doesn't... <laughs> I hear... Yeah, no, you hear... Well, humanoid I mean, there's... sounds, mach machine sounds, animal sounds. Uh, I mean, it's... You heard something, but you can't really Living, determine what it is. sentient? Oh. Could I wait a bit longer? Uh, no, you usually can't uh, listen again. It, it just means that they... Uh, door is too thick to uh, make anything out, basically. Oh, and the cat put the groups above me, isn't they? Yeah. Yeah, so you also hear them, you know... Is a window? No, there's nothing. It's like a wooden stockade. Uh, if I go to there and I look around, but I'm also being careful above to see if uh, anyone's looking down at me. So basically I want to look down there. He's being a bit more careful since he's so close. Okay. Alright. He looks up at the guards on the uh, catapult. Are they doing anything particular? Um, not really. They're just kind of looking. I mean, you can see their backs. What direction are they looking at? Uh, the, out, out. From the from Not the inwards towards no. the base sun. Okay, I am gonna go up, and I'm gonna go that way. Okay, and look down the backside. Uh, yep. And then afterwards, he's gonna listen up there. Okay. See what the idol getting about. So you're gonna listen in on that that door there. Yep. Um, as you pass by the, uh, the large spiky object, um, uh, you can see what appears to be, a, um, a porthole on it now that you're closer. Oh, is that an opening? Um, it, it's covered in glass. Maybe the size of a, a head. It, you know, embedded on the surface, uh, amongst the spikes. Is there any... Uh looks out or something yeah. goes in or it looks out all right fair enough so it opens up then or something okay so you go to the uh um 
that door, and mm. you can hear some rather loud snoring from inside there. Ooh. Yeah, but that's above me is where the catapult is, isn't it? Uh, not right above. Catapult's up in the corner. So... All right. He he's you know, gonna up walk. That way. He's gonna walk there. Yeah. He's gonna. You already listened to the I'll door. Come, he's gonna. No, he's gonna. I've already listened there. Yeah. You said that you were going over to listen at the door, and I rolled. Yeah. That's what I. That's yeah. What yeah. I mean, right, he's gonna knock on the door, like, and he's just gonna wait over there. Okay. Just peeking around the corner, I assume. Yeah. Just to see if they wake up, or someone might be awake now. Let's see. Nothing happens. Uh, hold on a second. I'm I'm checking to see if uh wakes up. Nope. No. Uh, nothing happens. Is he gonna open the door? No. He's gonna do it. Okay. He's gonna knock a little bit louder this time, and he's gonna walk away. What? Are you trying to do? Well, you don't know. You're not there. All right. Um, after a moment, is, uh, the he door is trying to wake the person up. Uh, the door is flung open, and uh, an incredibly ugly, ugly face uh, sticks out. Looks around. You can see that it's uh, kind of bleary eyed, and uh, um, a loud voice rumbles out. What? What do you want? Who Laughter there? Wait. Laughter goes over there and waits. Over, over where? In the corner. Okay. As he go back in, um, the patrol is passing by at about that uh, time, and he shouts up to them and says, "What are you doing? Why are you wake me?" Uh, the leader of the patrol shouts down, uh, and says, "Twent us. We're we've been up here looking at the wall, looking out of the walls." <laughs> oh dear. Nothing else. Uh, the uh, um, the ugly figure. Um, well, you can't you're you can't see, so you can just hear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just. Hearing. Um, but you do hear a uh, a door slam. That's fine. He's gonna wait like five minutes, and he's gonna do it again. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> I'm a for you. What do you think I'm playing? This is totally my my deity's so thing—a trickster and. Right, give me just a second. All right, but this, but as he um, before he, before he, he's gonna knock, but he's gonna wait to see if he's snoring or anything before he does that. So you're gonna you're gonna wait to you're gonna listen at the door again and see if there's. Uh, he's snoring? gonna be very very careful about how he does this. He's gonna be here, standing there. He's gonna wait like a good five minutes. So the patrol, I don't know. That, that patrol that they, they talked to before would be like somewhere down here. It's like the new patrol, yeah? That'd be I don't remember which one it is. It's it's just one of the patrols. Yeah, but, well, anyway, yeah, he'd assume that this guy's either gone back to sleep or is... Is he gone back to sleep? You're going to listen at the door again? After about a couple of minutes, yeah. Uh, you do not hear snoring. Uh, you hear some very loud grumbling. Uh, you can't make out what's being said, but uh, um, it doesn't sound like the uh, inhabitant of this room is happy. Is he talking to anyone, or is he talking to himself, if one could uh, guess? You would guess himself. Alright, he's going to knock on the door again, and this is going to be a reasonably quick about getting out of here. He's not going to run. He's he's still going to walk, but he's going to put himself some distance this time as he's going to walk away after he's done it. All right, give me a uh, dexterity check. Uh, that would be an eighteen. Oh, I don't know why I'm looking it up. One one D. Okay. All right. So you uh, you rap on the door and then uh, like brisk walk, move up along the Scoot wall. Away. Yeah, uh, and and how he's, far do you want to go? You know, he's going all the way now. Okay. Uh, the uh, you hear uh, um, 
uh, a voice bellow out from the um, the direction of that, uh, um, you know, <laughs> who played tricks on me? <laughs> and uh, let's see. So that uh, that brings a couple figures uh, from out this door. Um, mm-hmm. they just kind of, like, come out and, and start looking around. Um. <laughs> Are you trying to call the fight? Then the, 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 the figure from here, you see, uh, him go over here. And he's, uh, he's ranting and raving, uh, the whole time. Uh, he just, he doesn't, like, attack those people. He just pushes them out of the way and goes inside. Uh, and then the, uh, um... Like the ones who came out movie. follow him in. All right, he Laftel's gonna go back, and he's okay. gonna look in. Oh, so you're gonna go to the door and look in? The door is closed. Uh, as I go over to about here, yeah. What can I? Is anyone looking in my general direction that I can see? Um. Yes, the uh, the guards on the walls are kind of keeping an eye on, you know, they're trying to look both in and out. All right, now it's fine. I'm not going to... I'm going to go there. I'm going to knock again, but I'm going to walk over up here. Back again. All right, nothing happens. All right, nothing happens. All right. Uh... <sighs> Ah, oh, Laughter's got as much information as he wants to get out of this place. Now he's going to try and figure a way out. Uh, Alright, he's going to go... Go to the main gate, here. open the gate. <laughs> Actually, what's here? I haven't looked in this bit, listened here. Um, Alright, you, you're going to listen in on the door? Mm-hmm. All right, you can hear what sounds like some people moving in there, and maybe some talking, but uh, you can't make anything uh, distinct out. All right. Uh, hmm. He's gonna go to about here. Just thinking. I should point out that the the figure that uh, left this. Uh, that door that you you've been playing tricks on. Uh, he was quite tall. He was uh, probably uh, eight feet tall. Did he look like a grunt or an officer? Um, he was wearing. I mean, they he didn't have any like insignia or anything like that. Um, he was wearing kind of sackcloth clothes. Um. And he didn't. Mm-hmm. He wasn't armed. That you could tell. He was very ugly. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, he was yeah. fugly. So you're gonna go. I, I go over to there. All right. I am planning on making my way out of the space. Um. He's gonna go to about there. And he's gonna. Wait a couple of minutes to see if anything happens. Then he's going to walk past. Okay. Um, nothing happens as far as you can tell. Uh, uh, you do hear uh, some uh, muffled shouting uh, coming from the floor above. Floor above? Yeah. Uh, did the go- or guy go in yeah, he- and then up a floor? Yeah, it's probably an inside stairway or something. Excuse me. From inside the building, the floor above. That's what I'm getting at. Not the Mm -hmm. uh, not the rampart. How many have I got a better idea of how many people I think's in this area now? Uh, well, uh, let's see. You have counted for sure. You have counted. And I got like a vague idea of races and stuff. Give me just a second. Uh, 
Uh, on the walls, you've counted uh, 24 individuals. Oh, 24. wow, there's 24 on the wall? That's a bit much. You don't know this yet, Yeldon. Yeah, no, but mm -hmm. I'm, just think, I'm just thinking 24, and if they're smart, they would have the same amount for the night shift. Sorry, I was just answering something. Um, all right. So Lafto is going down here. He's gonna go over to there. Okay. And of course, you did hear, you know, uh, well, okay. So twenty-four on the walls. You you know of a uh, um, you know the the big figure that that uh, came from here, and uh, a couple came out here, and so you know that there's that many. Um. You have you've been in here enough and, and seen them uh, enough that uh, it looks like you've got uh, humans for sure, um, and perhaps some um, half ogres and half orcs. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're making your way over there, okay? Uh. He's going to check his um, inventory in a sec. There was something I was thinking about doing, but I wasn't sure about it. Was that thing... What was that... What was that like a thing made out of? It was a wood. What thing? That thing. That oh. big thing. Yes, wood. And metal? Um, there appears to be metal caps on the ends of the spikes. Caps? He has, he's going to go back and he's going to look at it. He's oh, okay. just like seeing seeing what he can discern from it from a distance, like staring, staying at this corner. He's just staring at it. Um, Give me an intelligence check. Because I don't have spellcrafting, so it's a little hard for me to guess. Uh, it's entire 13. What's it? It's no minuses. It's no minuses. Well, there Maybe. might be a minus, but I'm not telling. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Um. So it's pretty solidly constructed. Um, and the construction does remind you of ships. I mean, rather than buildings. Ships, rather than it looks like. <sighs> It's a bit out there, but would Laftal think that it might be a spell jamming ship? I don't know. Would Laftal think that that might be a spell jamming no, ship? No, it just looks like some kind of object. He doesn't know. He doesn't recognize it. He's not native to spell jamming. So. Doesn't matter. But it's up to you whether if you think if you think that Laftal I don't think, think he would. No. Okay. Fair enough. All right. It's just some bikey thing. It's got metal protruding on the outsides a bit, though. Yeah. The ends of the spikes are covered in uh, metal. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, really there's like other a... metal, you know, fittings and stuff like that. The uh, uh, the porthole is uh, um, the glass is surrounded by uh, bronze or brass. Brass, go with brass. Does it look like it opens up? Um, I'm I'm not going to open it up. I'm just looking to see if it does look like it opens up. The porthole that you can see does not. Does not look like it. It opens up. Does it look like there's an access anywhere? Uh, are you staying in this one spot? Uh, he would go over there and look in. Okay. Um, now that you are not distracted by uh, instilling some chaos in here, yes. Um, <laughs> the there is a uh, section of the sphere that appears that it can. You know, open up. There's uh, uh, kind of a, a a ring, you know, a metal ring that you could pull on. It looks like. Um... Hmm, and that looks like it would open up some kind of door or something. One would assume. Yeah. Uh, as I'm like over here, is that other? No, never mind. I'm not going to try that. <laughs> I want to, but now. Uh. All right, he he wants to head back down there. That's the ladder he wants to get out from. Okay. He does want to get out of this place now. He's gained enough information, as far as he's concerned. 
Okay. Um... He's going to, like, stand there and look there to see if they're looking in my direction. No, actually, it looks like they're when they're glancing, they're mostly glancing over towards the uh, um, the big building. Big building, this building. Well, they, well, yeah, the, the shouting's the, coming yeah, from the two floor, the two story building. You can't hear the shouting. Now no, the shouting stopped. How loud is this ladder? Does it creak? How loud? Um, well, you if have. If I to put, put your, my foot on the bottom, have... put my foot on the bottom step. It doesn't creak when you put your foot on the bottom rung. No, I put my entire weight, just put one foot on it, but my entire weight, you know, like as if you're testing it. Does it creak? No. All right, he's going to look very closely at the second, third, fourth, as many as he can visually see to see if they, like... Pulling it at them with his hand to see if they would creak slightly. Um, you don't have a he's like, uh, carpentry he's like, proficiency. No, I, I, no, I don't. I'm just literally just pulling at it. Does it make noise? No. Mm All right. Does does do the guards look like they're looking at me? Well, right now you are. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm. I'm testing that thing out. Now I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to look around to look up for that catapult thing. Platform. Okay, no, they they are not looking at you. They're not looking in your, your specific direction. I would try to uh, spot where the patrol... Let him, let him, no, let them decide. Yes, I, I'm going to get there. He's going to go back over to the ladder. He's going to assess where the patrols are. That was literally my next thing. Uh, okay, let's see. Um... As you do that, one of the p patrols passes right by you. Above you. Okay, it's going to wait like a minute. And where does that leave them? On the map? Um, well, that means that like, the other one is uh, like on arrow. the opposite. No, so, I mean... Like, they're across. Well, one of them is... Uh, yeah, I mean, one of them is always opposite of, of where the yeah, other yeah, one is. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I... I, I want to know where this one is, the one that's just passed me. They're, they're, they, they're moving they're on. They're about there. They're moving on. Yeah. All right, when they get to about there, so the other one's like over, I don't know, there, I think. So there and up there. That's when I would attempt to go up this ladder. Okay, so keep in mind that, uh, you know, they're kind of behind the building, so you can't actually see them. You do I'm not have guessing to... basing on the time. You You do not, okay, that's fine. He's like, he's count. He's like counting, and then he goes up. Yeah, I, I would have this. I wouldn't be doing this on the first lap round. I'd be going waiting for like them to do a couple of laps for me to get a good feel for how long it takes for them to do a circuit. And a couple of minutes after they pass this ladder front is right. when I'm going up it. So you want to wait for the patrols to finish doing a few full patrols before you go up the ladder? Yeah. So I've got a good idea of how long I've got. Okay, we're at two okay. hours. <laughs> so you uh, um, you begin to wait after having done some some testing, and um, just as uh, um, you know, about ten minutes pass uh, on that, uh, you hear a clanging from over here. The clanging. Clanging. Is then metals. Clanging, Tabber, uh... as in bell or gong. Okay. It's... It's I, I... Been... And all of a sudden, the uh, uh, whole structure comes alive as uh, people stream out of these two doors. Is there anything coming behind me? No. He's going to wait there, and he's going to look behind me. He's going to look in over there, but he's also going to look behind him. So. Okay. So, um... Outside the wall, what do I see? Uh, you see, yep. you, you can you can hear the clanging. Uh, it's as soon as I hear the clanging, spy glasses out to look at what's going on. Okay, uh, you can see movement inside the compound. Um, uh, you can't really because of the uh, the angle and everything like that. Uh, you can't see a whole lot. Uh, Laftel, 
you Where's are the sun? You're, you're the sun is very low now. Um, it mm -hmm. is it is just about to completely set. I'm gonna put away the spyglass. Uh, I'm gonna think. Uh, wonder if it has to do with well, the. So, Lapel, with... you're you're gonna be um, at, at this corner, right? I am here, looking behind me every now and again, and I'm also looking to see what's going on. Okay, so is the is the patrols on the on the? Are they coming down? So what you're seeing is uh, mm. you see people from this door and this door. And they, you know, they split off. It's basically just streams of people. Um, some go here. And then some go to all the, all the ladders. Some go here. And uh, it, you, would, you would guess that it's shift change. Okay. And are you just gonna? He, like... he looks up at the sky to get an idea of how far set it is. The moon's down. Or the, uh, the, the sun's down. The sun is gonna be completely set and like. So this is like a night shift. shift. Yeah. So he's. Going... This is a good time to start counting people. Yeah, he he's getting there. He's gonna count people. Uh, he can't do nothing else while he's waiting. So. So he's gonna. You you've definitely you definitely lose track of the count. Um, I mean, you know how. Many is it more before. or less? Well, you you know how many uh, you counted before, and this is shift change. Uh, so the ones on the wall come down after you know the the ones from these two oh, buildings. Oh yeah, I just they go up a difference. and they replace. Um, they all equal amounts. You you see one come here. And one leave. And it's tough to get a good angle on that one. Um, hold on. Oh. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, that other door. I need to double check to see how many there were there. Um... Give me an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, you are able to uh, count that uh, five go in and five leave. Oh, they're on one shift rotations. And... Every so often. That's what he's guessing. Um... After it quiets down. Hold on. Uh, give me another oh. intelligence check. Okay. Uh, you count uh, uh, seven go in up here and seven leave. Mm hmm. That's an overwhelming amount of people. And it was quite loud. Um, and uh, Yeldon, you see uh, from your vantage point, uh, figures come up onto the wall, and then figures go down off the wall. Okay, Yeldon breathes out in relief and say, thinking. All right. Laughing. And then he marks. He marks the position of the sun. He he looks at the sun and tries to commit about where about in his memory. Yeah, that's the same well, idea I left of was you know get an idea of time it's when sunset. it changes. Yeah, sunset. And that was a bell from in there, yeah. Uh, it was a bell uh, at the at the door. So oh, at the door. Someone came out, um, but you you didn't notice them actually come out. You didn't notice them until they started to ring it. There's a bell outside the outside the building, is there? Yeah, it's a big bell. Um, you know, kind of like a, a big uh I wonder if Ringing thing. Bear would break. Uh, an idea. How, how, sorry, how big? It's, it's just big. I mean, it, it's not 
not the like size of a head. Yeah, yeah, about head size. Hmm. And the patrols have all settled down now. Yeah, uh, all the shift change. Uh, once the uh, um, the ones from inside the compound, from inside the buildings, go up and meet them, then they continue on their their path. Have I heard anything? Just that are passing as grunt people are passing. It's just usual. Uh, yeah, shift. just usual grumblings about uh, oh, it's shift yeah. time. I you know hate this part. You know that kind of thing or. Stuff like that. I mean, it was also very loud and um, nothing the, about uh, people patrolling about beyond the walls. Yeah, you, did, you didn't. You, you didn't hear anything uh, special. We'll put it that way. All right. Now he wants to get back up on this. Uh, he wants to get out of here because it's been too long now, as far as he's concerned. Okay, so you're gonna climb up that that same ladder and then yeah, uh, he's gonna the yeah. And that's the idea. He's going to get out of this place now. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a... What? What is your climb walls? It's climb walls 60, 60. And I guess you want my move silently. Which is 45. And it's tech noise, because I'm probably listening as I'm doing this. <laughs> to uh, see if you, any of the you, guys you react. You can't... You can't listen as you do the things. You no, no, no. I, I'm not not as in an actual row. I, you know, as I'm doing this, you know. Okay. Uh, do any of the guys go? Oh, what's that noise? Who's that? I didn't see anyone. And actually, let me uh, go ahead and reveal the rest of the uh, the top level real fast. Because he's get exiting out on the other side. Well, I mean, being down, looking around the uh, um. The other map, he's revealing all the yeah. top layers. Yeah, you'd have, yeah. you'd have seen the the top stuff. Okay, uh, so you climb back up uh, the ladder. Um, mm -hmm. As you're uh, making your way, um, well, where this do you actually on... want to get down? Like where it, do you want to climb? In the down? Corner. You want to go back to the corner. corner. Okay, you want to go back uh -huh. to the corner to get down. Okay. Well, about here. Right but here, slightly past the corner. That's fine, but but so you're, you're, just not, past the you're not like immediately jumping down, you know, climbing down the. No, uh, no, the no. Okay, all right. Um, give me a tumbling proficiency check. Okay. Uh, I don't have it up. Uh, tumbling, tumbling. There, eight. I was wondering to see if I had uh, modifiers. Okay. Um, as you are uh, climbing down, uh, you lose your grip. Um, your your foot slips past one of the uh, the you know some of the ropes uh, lashing the wall together, and uh, you fall to the uh, the earth beneath you. Um, but you manage to you know tuck yourself into a roll and get up. However, that did make some noise. And uh, one of the uh, one of the guys on this catapult, he runs over towards. Uh, you can hear him running towards uh, the corner of the wall. What do you want to do? I am going. What can I see around me? Uh, okay, first, you, you from can't where see much. I am, you're, you're down on the ground now. You just tumbled. You can hear someone there... moving fast on the wall. Can can he... I, am I still invisible? Yes. Is there any? I'm gonna start. Well, I am gonna start walking away, but I'm gonna walk reasonably slow. Okay. Like I'm seeing where he's looking. If he looks away for a brief second, I'm gonna step a couple of steps, then stop, then wait, then move, and stop and wait. He uh, he is. Uh... Looking around, you see him uh, look down directly beneath the wall. And are you going to move away, try and move away at that time? When he's not looking at my direction. When he, because obviously he's not found anything there straight away. He's going to look down and then he's going to look to the side to see if there's something on the other side of the wall. When he looks on the other side of the wall, I'm going to move forward a bit. So he looks down and then he turns back to. Uh, um... Uh, the patrol that's uh, moving up this way. 
Uh, uh yeah. He, then he when he shouts, when he he shouts to them, um, "Oi, something over here!" All right. Yeah, he's gonna meet. Laftel's gonna start moving away. Walking, running, jogging, what? Uh, walking. Okay. Carefully walking. Okay. Um. The uh uh. Wall patrol moves back uh towards him, and they start talking. Uh, the guy who uh clearly heard you uh he's pointing directly down uh beneath the wall. Mm-hmm. That's and all, he's all I, I'm see. invisible, so I don't really mind. I'm just being careful and walking away. Okay. Uh, you see the uh, patrol um head this. Well, not that. That's not the right thing. You see the patrol head this way along the wall, uh, and then mm-hmm. you can't see them anymore. Go. I'm literally walking away from this place now. Okay. Towards back where the main group is. <laughs> walking, running, jogging. Don't know. No, I'm not jogging. I'm walking at the moment until I'm like reasonably yeah. far away that they can't tell. I was reading a uh, Starbait Starbait chat. Oh. Okay. Oh, I so. I haven't been looking at Twitch chat. Um. You see the uh, the wall patrol come from the uh, front of the uh, the structure and uh, begin investigating um, the wall. You know where you drop down. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna see wolf prints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you uh, you get a, you get far enough away that you can't really see what's going on. I am now. gonna confirm that I am still leaving wolf prints. I. You never told me yep. that you were changing it, so yeah. Yeah, it should still be Wolf Prince. I never changed it. Okay. All right. Um, you lose sight of what they're looking at. Um, you know, there's a you know, some more bushes. You get you get to the trees, and uh, you you're gonna go find Yeldon and. Uh huh. I'll find anyone generally. Well. I mean, you know where Leva and... Yeah, I know where they are. I wasn't sure if they were staying there, though. Uh, I th- I think we moved a bit, but so we weren't so close to the ceiling. Mm-hmm. But other than that, we're probably still close to where we were. Okay. You're going to meet back up with them? Um, yeah. So they're well, kind of cool. looking towards the, uh, um, the stockade. Uh, you're still invisible. Mm-hmm. He's also going to scare Yeldon. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's totally a prankster. And uh, Lever. Oh, let me roll. Is that a do? wisdom check to not no, be No, it's just a, a a sudden, like, Yeldon! <laughs> and Lever, yeah, you, you know, shouldn't just... say you shouldn't say Yeldon, because then we know it's a human being. You yeah, I know. Sort of a, you should still sort of jump up and you. down a bit. I, I'm gonna roll a wisdom save. I'm no, no, in... not yet. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, tr- I'm still trying to figure out what Lafta wants to do here. What do you, what are you trying to do to, to surprise he, him? He's just, he's just gonna startle them. See how good this, this famous r- ranger is at detecting noises, and you know, this is his natural environment. He should be good at this. Let's put it to the test. <laughs> okay, what's your move silently again? Forty-five. You said. Yeah, forty-five. I'm not the best thief in the world for that. Okay, uh, so you um, you see Yeldon, uh, you know, looking out with uh, Leva uh, next to him, looking out towards the uh, the stockade. Um, they're kind of crouched down in the bushes, trying to you know stay hidden. And uh, you get you get the idea of uh, you know like walking up behind them and just like grabbing their shoulders or, or saying boo or something like that. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as you're doing that, <laughs> a twig snaps. So, Yelda oh. and Leva, you're you're staring out looking at the, uh, uh, the thing, and you hear a twig snap loudly behind you. Well, uh, Leva uh, most definitely has a spell prepared. I, and yeah, I, I'm uh, absolutely certain about that. What spell? Yeah, yeah. Then... Uh, probably le- uh, magic missiles, <laughs> because I'm, I don't calculate. I don't count on 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 pranks. I count on on something from the camp coming over here. 
Okay. Ah, yes. And Yeldon? Yeldon, Yeldon would have had his bow at the ready, so he turned around, <laughs> drew, drew it, and drew the string back. <laughs> okay, you don't see anything. Came. Do I need to save for the magic yes. missiles? Yes. I look. Laftal's at... just standing still, staring at them, <laughs> but he's not saying anything. Laftal, was that you? Does he say that? Yes. What does Lever do? Well, wait, 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 wait a minute, Yeldon, where do you get the idea from that this is Laftal? Tell me what convinced you that this is Laftal. The fact that I can't see him anything from where the... And the fact that I can't see him right away, most creatures don't have invisibility capability. I thought it's dark. It is dark uh, by now, yeah. So the... uh, how 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 much moonlight is there? Um, you're seeing into a dark forest, and you just heard a twig snap. You're on a moon. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. Isn't that normally moonlight? Still, I don't. There's, there, it's kind of hard to have uh, moonlight when you're on the moon. Okay. From the other uh, planet. Old, old He's got information. How many other tweaks have we heard snap in the last two <laughs> in the last two hours? None. Yeah. Would None. wouldn't they have wouldn't they have world light on the moon instead of moonlight? Um, it be brighter. Maybe. It doesn't but matter. Right I would now. have uh, after I would have given them like a minute of them just staring in the plank death and I just announced my presence. So See, you can, I told you can you stand was... down now. You can relieve yourselves. I told you it was laughter. <laughs> but I will say to Yeldon that they did see a flash of light into the woods, so they can see your spy light, whatever you call it. It's got what you call them. Well, Looking glass. I... Spyglass, that's it. Spyglass. Okay. Well, they didn't. I don't think they spotted it. I did pull out for. Sh- when they when I heard the gong, but it looked like shift change, so I put it away. Yeah, it was that. shift change. I mentioned to him. I convey information, and I say, "Where's the others?" After they said they, they were waiting on a patrol. Uh, well, well, let's let's go go the others weren't. Leva is, uh, is asking holes into you, uh, into you uh, concerning the portal and uh, and and that uh, thing with spikes, etc. She's telling you off for not having gone there and essentially called into it to figure out how it worked. They, they, they see this like thing being <laughs> opened for some mysterious reason. So, I... well, hold, hold on. Okay, so Laftal, you've announced yourself. Um, yeah. You just said something about the others, but the others weren't with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just asking, inquiring, where's the others? Probably well, back where we left them. We'll yeah. Probably start heading back. You know that, Laftal, because we split off uh, of them when we went towards the uh, uh, this uh, camp thing. Yeah, uh, I mean, right. you, would, you would know that. I mean, they 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 had not planned to uh, come to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were no, planning so, on going um, back. No, I'm, I just want I'm... the group to be ghetto, as I would divulge this information to me. How do I? Fair enough. Get... So I'll, y'all then will say, oh, let's go meet back up with the others, and we'll start making our way back to the others. I have to say to level, that's invisibility is pretty useful. I I approve of this. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Although so they next... did hear me, unfortunately, at one point. As Next I, time you can take me with, then I can look at the uh, at this uh, uh, um, spike thing myself. Mm-hmm. Naftal conveys whatever he can about the thing. The <laughs> <laughs> thing is, Naftal's not in the mindset of him knowing what it is. It's just a spiky thing that might be a spell jamming ship or something. Some kind of magical device. That's how he interprets it. He doesn't know. Wait. So we could go there tomorrow, you know. I I have. Uh, I would fly. not I can fly. That. I can. I can fly. I can. I I have invisibility. I have all mm. sorts of things. All right. So yeah, I... first of all, um, Laftal, on the trip back, are you going to let them know what you discovered, or are you going to kind of say, you know, let's wait until we're all back together and and uh, well, say it once? Well, I give them some information, and then as I 
you know, given the main points of it, like patrol rates, numbers. And you're going to then, saw... as a group, make your way back to uh, Brax and Hegemus and Ocker. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so, how... while, so how that's, keep... while that's happening, let's switch back to the others and okay. find out what you guys were doing after you uh, killed that, that group. There's at least <coughs> what two one survivor two survivors two survivors one unconscious. Um, um I'll turn now. Um, <laughs> interrogation time. All right, I'm gonna leave myself on now, the now. Uh, first thing Brax is gonna do is say to uh, the others, uh, "What do you want to do? Do we need to bury the bodies, hide them? Uh, probably best to hide them somewhere." Take care of well, that. Well, I knocked a guy down a, a few minutes over that way. So I can take care of these guys first, and then I'll have to go over there. Okay. Yeah, let's get them you know, somewhere. Hide them someplace. Are there any uh, prickly bushes about, Ord? Prickly bushes? Yeah. Um... With three leaves? Not really. No. Any other sort of bushes? Bo plenty of bushes. Just none of them with, uh, like, you know, nettles or prickles or anything like that. Or Right. Okay, what I want is a big bush. Um, I'll search the other bodies. If the, oh, I don't know. Did, were they, they were already searched, weren't they? Yeah, I think I think you guys searched them. All right. I'll, um... Could you ping where, where exactly we are, Ald, please? Uh, you are, you're basically right here. Let me, uh, oh, because you guys got shifted around when I was moving Lathal, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you're... I think we were one, we were one hex back from the others. Yeah, well, I, it got, it got shifted around a little bit, so we'll say that you're here. Oh, How okay. deep was that, uh, river, by the way? Um... It it shifted, you know. It was pretty deep, um, somewhere between you know ten, fifteen feet for the most part that you could tell. We could throw them in the river. No, no, no. If we throw them in the river, they'll wash down the river. Well, I mean, like, weigh them down with their swords. They're not going to float with that, right? Should you know? Should they? I don't know. Well, I was. I was going to pull them under bushes. Well, keep in, okay. keep in mind that uh, this river goes like this way. That's the flow of water. So it doesn't flow into the lake. It flows yeah. out from the lake. Yep. I think that might be the best to bet uh, throw them in the river. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh... But anyone walking Bodies. alongside the river is going to see bodies coming down the river. I'll do it if you want to, but I thought it'd be better to pull them under bushes. I mean, mm. either way, these guys are going to get missed. What do you think, Ocker? Ocker? I didn't realize I was still muted. I've been trying to say something. Okay, I'm oh. thinking... <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 you move your, can you move your microphone closer to you? Because you were pretty quiet. You did sound quite yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking we throw them into the river. Okay, very well. <laughs> okay, Braxton's going to take the bodies down to the river and uh, see if he can make them float. They all float down here. So, well, are you, are you stripping them of all, all their equipment? Yeah, what type of armor are they wearing? Well, Braxton will do that, yes. Well, that's why I said have they been searched. Oh, searching is not the same as stripping them. How come we right. want them to float? Just real quick, how come we want them to float down the river? Get rid of them. Well, but if, if, if you actually make them sink, then they probably disappear faster. Yeah, all right. Uh, says well, the voice in, in my head. Not that Leva would uh, would know anything about that. Yeah, Laftel's had loads of suggestions. He's not saying well. <laughs> Braxton's going to put the first one in the river. Um, if it's got nothing useful worth stealing, um, he's going to see whether it's more likely to sink or float. 
Well, I mean, um, you you took their valuables. You took the coins that they had. Um, yeah. Some were wearing scale armor, and others were wearing leather armor. Scale armor. The ones with scale armor, he's just going to put them in the river and let them sink. Okay. Um, and uh, if is there any rocks in the river? Or around the river? I'm just realizing that I have forgotten to make a note of which ones you actually knocked out. I thought I had that. Uh, right one guy surrendered. One yep. guy was one of the archers. With yeah, one archer and one melee. Okay. Um, yeah. The orc. The orc guy had his head chopped off. Yeah. My oh, hand sorry. chopped off hand. and died. And uh, I died like, of the no! shock. <laughs> All right. So um, yeah. So, and so one of the warriors. His dying words were, "You're not my father." <laughs> One of oh, the warriors, uh, his, his body. If you leave him, if you leave the scale armor on him, uh, it sinks. Yeah. Um. And um. Uh, Braxton, to see if he can get rocks and uh, sort of put their arms over their chest and put a rock on top of their hands. The sink, though. Okay. The so. Guys. Stop their hands waving out the river. <laughs> Well, they do have some some packs. Um, so I mean, you just kind of like fill their pockets and their their packs with uh, and their pouches with uh, stones. How's that? Yep, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, they can sleep with the fishies. So as far as you know, they all sink to the um, the bottom. You you chuck them in. Uh, were you gonna stay around the uh, the water, or are you gonna go back to? Uh, Brax is gonna kind of place them in rather than chuck them in. So they don't make a big kaplunk noise and a big splash. Okay. And then he's going to do the next one and then the next one. Then he's going to go looking for the guy with one hand. And he's going to put the hand in the guy's pouches. <laughs> it's rather elaborate there. Okay. Wait, right? the guy needs a hand in the afterlife. Oh, yeah, sure, Braxham, sure. Braxham might be okay killing the guy, but he's not going to deprive him. He doesn't want a ghost going around with one hand, coming after him, <laughs> going, what did you do with my hand? Okay. In a um, language you can't speak. As you're, as you're doing that, uh, you, you do startle um, a little group of uh, otters, um, and they, they scatter and swim away from you. <laughs> Just letting you know. <sighs> Alright, so you get rid of uh, the bodies. Uh, you've taken their valuables. Um, and you've got the uh, the unconscious guy, and you've got the the one who surrendered. Cool. Tied them both up. Yeah. Poor otters. They're not dead. No, but so, we scared them. Do you want to do anything to these two that you captured, or are you going to wait until um everyone else gets back? Um, just uh. <laughs> We can talk uh, to the guy that's not un unconscious, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ocker, do you want to try to interrogate him? Don't get too loud. I can try that, yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll go up to the guy and uh, ask him about uh, why they came to attack us. So, again, walk up to the guy and say, You there! He doesn't, did... he seems to you know he he he's you you tied him up right yeah he has tied him up okay so so he is just kind of you know bent his head down and he he's he seems to be trying to ignore you you got a Chris I don't know what interrogate that uh, trying to eliminate him through strength or oh I'm sorry my bad You're not there. I'm not the DM, also. <laughs> Don't I have, like, a reaction bonus to my charisma? Yeah, but that usually uh, works on, you know, initial reactions. I mean, if you want to try and charm him, that's that's one thing, but you kind of have to say what you're trying to do. Okay. Yeah. Look, buddy, how about you just tell us what you know, and then maybe we'll think about uh, 
making sure that you get out of all this alive, okay? He, we don't want... he lifts his head up slightly and then puts it back down. Um, you thought that maybe he was about to say something, but then decided not to. Uh, you want to? How about this? Uh, it is about time to take our break, so um, you can have some time to think about how you want to interrogate him. How's that? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm really bad at this kind of stuff, so it takes me a while to think of anything. <laughs> well, I mean, you've got Higamus, and when Braxton gets back, you've got him to uh, um, help you out. So. All right, uh, but we'll come back in about uh, 10 minutes, and uh, so about 2.12, 2.15, somewhere in there, um, and uh, we will handle this uh, interrogation. See you guys shortly. <laughs>